Hi, Fernando. I cannot hear you. Let me just one moment. Hi, there you go. I, I thought you were a mute. That's why I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? Mm, so so. So so why, Fernando? Yeah. Uh, a little tired, but very good. Yeah. That's nice to hear. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for enjoying today's class. Okay. I okay. do really appreciate it. Thank you. What about you, yeah. Diana? How are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. Oh my um, God, are you sick? Yes, I have allergy. Um, allergy problems? Mm -hmm. Because uh, disinfectant. No, oh, okay. Yes, with the, with, the, um, with the disinfected liquid. Oh my God, yes. I'm really sorry to hear that. But thank you so much for joining the class. I know that you're tired. Yes. You see, guys, I told you. <laughs> Today, I didn't go to work. <laughs> yeah, at least for 15 days. Oh. Yeah, for 15 days. Because I, cause I said I work in a call center. Huh? And definitely they, they close it. So 15 days on vacation, can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, but I had to. We need to follow instructions, right? We need to be obedient. So mm. anyway, well, that's okay. Never mind. Yeah. Hopefully they, they pay me. <laughs> yeah, they will. I know that. Definitely. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining the class, Diana. Thank you. Hi, Gabriel. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hello. How I'm are you, fine. sir? That's nice to hear. Fine. That's very yeah. good. And you? Yeah. Oh, thanks God. I'm fine as well. Also, my oh. pop is in my family. Right now, ah, great. so far is good. Yes, definitely. Had to stay home, but that's okay. Work and, Work and uh, your home. Yes, definitely. Had to. Great. Yes, definitely it is. Me yeah. too. Um, Me too. Beginning, beginning tomorrow. Oh, starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. In my case, it's starting today. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen yeah. days. So that's Fifteen great. Days. Yes. They close, they close the Philippines and they close the Salvador. And I don't know if they're going to close it, Canada, or United States, or Guatemala. I don't know. But they maybe mm. they will, definitely. Mm. Yeah, so we have to it's work the, from home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely. It's and the I'm, reality. What? Is, is the reality today, no? Yeah, there's a reality, yes. So we need to face it. But we need to be obedient and positive. Everything's going to be all right as soon as we follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here in today's class, Gabriel. What about you, Mr. Thank Moran? You. How are you, hey, sir? Hi. Hello. Hello. It's nice to see you again. How yeah. have you been so far? So far, is it good? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. <laughs> as always, easy peasy. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's nice. But you are not sick, are you? Are you? Mm. So so. Uh, oh, hopefully fever, not. Uh, fever. Bajo low. Low. Uh, uh, fever baja. Fever ah, you low. have a, you have a little bit of fever. Okay, little, a little, little bit. Fever. Oh, but it's a little. Yes, but I, hopefully, it's like a regular flu, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I was work. Mm-hmm. Uh, at noon, the street were empty. Uh-huh. Uh, Definitely. It's, yeah. It's like a dessert, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. But I really appreciate that you are here, even though you're tired and feel a little bit sick. Hopefully, you get much better, right? And it will be like a regular flu. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. What about you, Alex? Alexander? My friend Alexander, how you doing, sir? Hi, teacher. Hi, it's nice to see you again. How are you? Fine. Fine, that's nice to hear. I'm so happy and that you? you're okay. Me too. Thank you so much for asking. 
I'm okay right now. Yes, yeah, at home, but working from home. But I'm okay. <laughs> at least I'm working and taking care of my family and my pets, actually, and my mom as well. Okay. Thank you. Think of a beer here, Alexander. Americo! Thank you, sir. How are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Good night. Uh, good night. How you feel today? Much better? Uh, I'm tired. Yes, definitely you are. Um, yes, uh, but, but, but I am good. That's nice to hear. Yes. Thank God that you're okay. And also your baby, right? I can hear, I can hear that. Um, That's nice. Thank you so much for joining today's class. I do really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, teacher. <laughs> my pleasure. What about you, Claudie? How you doing, my girl? Hi, teacher. Hey. I'm fine. That's nice to hear, Claudie. How was your day going? So far, so good? Um, good. Good. That's good. nice to hear. Positive. Yeah. That's what I love to hear. <laughs> Javier. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Javier. How you doing? I'm fine, good. That's How are you? Pretty good as well. Thank you so much for asking. Working from home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see? Okay. It's really new, good to have a great technology, right? Because <laughs> you can do that. Yes, definitely. It's amazing. Yeah. And at the same time, it helps you like to like maintain calm and focus on something else, right? Yes. That helps you a lot. Yeah, definitely. I do really appreciate it that you enjoying today's class. All righty, guys. Let's start right now. Uh, I want to know who has done the homework. Don't tell me you didn't do your homework. Uh, let, let me see. Let me are, see. Uh-huh. Well, we are... <laughs> We are going to make uh, two sentences about, ad, about adverbs and adverb ad. Adverbs of, uh, of exactly of time of and preposition of time. time. Yes. Very good. Ah, you're a really good student. Thank you yeah. so much. That means that you have done your job, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Let me ask you one question. Can you please be so kind to let me know the first answer? Oh, the first question that you have made, Javier? Is a, a, is a question or... A sentence. Simple, or a sentence. A sentence, okay. regular sentence. Yeah. Okay. Today, I'm going to the bed at 10, 20 a.m. A.m.? <laughs> Or PM. Yeah, PM. Sorry. Oh my God! It was like, PM, oh my God! Yeah. It's going to be the wake up the whole night. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh my, yeah. ah, okay, okay, yeah, that's oh. good. <laughs> yeah. That means you are like a bad man, right? Yes. Yeah, you sleep at the uh, during the day and you wake up at night. I'm <laughs> 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 just dizzying you. Very okay. good. That's great. Okay, um, let me go right now with Mr. Gabriel, and then you, I will give you some time to think about the second sentence. Okay, Javier. Okay. Okay. What about you, Gabriel? What do you have for me? Um. <clears throat> so sorry. So sorry. No, 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 no. Today with me is no so sorry. <laughs> I'm a really uh, nice teacher, but I'm a tough teacher as well. And I have a good memory. I always yeah. remember my homeworks. Mm -hmm. Okay, to try uh, to use your imagination. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Give me one sentence. Okay. Uh, with with adverb. Adverbs of time and of also time? preposition of time. At least the first one I will give okay. you to the choice either or. But the second one, I will need both. Okay, okay. Um, okay, the first verse, the first sentence is, um, uh, I go to the church. You got to church, yes. I go to the church weekly. Weekly, you go to church weekly. Very good, mm -hmm. excellent. Great job. Um, right. There you go. And the preposition. Uh, no, that's what? okay. I will give you oh, right now ah. that one, but I will give you okay, time okay. for to think about the second one, right? 
Okay, okay. Okay, Diana, what about you, my girl? What you have for me? Um, and mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday I missed the class. <laughs> and if you can give me the proposition, I maybe I can do it. Okay. For example, at we use at to express a specific time. For example, let me give an example. I wake up at 4.30 a.m., okay? Okay. And if I want to, for example, say that I always do the same thing all over again, I can use an hour of time. I can, use, I can do, for example, every day or always, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. Give, give me an example. You can use you as a subject, but also you can use somebody else. You can say my daughter, my husband, my mother. You can use somebody else. Is preposition of, of time? Of time, and, yes. An and hour of time. Hour of time. And okay. my mother... Uh, Cook. Cook? Chicken? Cook or cook. cooks? Cooks. Exactly. Third person singular. Very good job. My mother cooks the, the lunch. At, cooks lunch, yeah. At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Very good. Fantastic. Good job. Excellent. Very good. Very good, girl. What about you, Claudie? Uh, I fit. Go ahead, you can do it. Um I am um, take a shower. You take a shower, very good. At ten I am. At ten AM. Yes. Why so late? Uh and tra trabajar a la una. Oh, because you start your job at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay, tell me that in English. Um, because? Because? I? I? Start? Start? My job or my shift? My, my job at? at 1 p.m. Exactly, very good job, you see? I knew you can do it. That's a great job. All righty, Mr. Moran, I haven't lost okay. you. <laughs> okay, can I have a sentence, please? Using preposition of time or prep or adverbs of time. The English class beginning at mm, 21 hours. Oh, the English class starts? Uh, Ah, uh, yeah. Begin? Begins or starts? Start. Okay. Mm -hmm. The English class begin. Be uh, excuse starts. Me, start. Uh, starts. 20, 21 starts. 21 mm -hmm. hours. Oh, okay. You use the military hours. That's yeah. okay. Not too bad. Yeah. Excellent job. Very good. Javier. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Fernando. Ah. Hi, teacher. Hi, Fernando. Hey. <laughs> Can I have a sentence, please? Use a preposition of time, if you don't mind. Okay. With up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. My mom fall asleep at 10 p.m. Oh, your mommy falls asleep at 10 p.m. <gasps> oh, that's yeah. great. Okay. Yes, because she has to wake up at really early morning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Javier, yes, now is your turn. Go ahead, sir. I will need with preposition of time and hours of time, please. Okay. Uh, uh, I always I wake up uh, at uh, four thirty a.m. Very good job. Excellent. Very good job. What about you, Gabriel? 
Yes, uh, I'm ready. Sure. Preposition on time. And average of time, please. Okay. Um, I'm starting my job at 8 a.m. every day. Oh, that's very good. Excellent job. Not too bad. Diana, okay. there you yeah. go, girl. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I need <to> lead. <laughs> For example, there's a per, an average of time which is, means early, that means temprano, or earlier, tempranissimo. So you can use that. Okay. I, I wake up early. Early what? In the morning, in the afternoon? Early in the morning. Early in the morning, very good. Can you let me know what, what time is specifically? I wake up at 7 a.m. You see? Fantastic. You put in practice both. Preposition of time and number of time. That's amazing. Great job, girl. You see, I knew you could do it. There you go. What about you, uh, Claudie? Hello. Hello. Um. I I eat mm -hmm. and I eat your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and dinner mm -hmm. at a a p.m. A p.m. Very good, excellent job. Okay, what about you, America? Can I have a sentence, please? Using proposition of time. Hello, Mr. Americo. I want to need a sentence Hello. with a proposition of time, please. Hello. Uh, I I I go to work at uh, at the six past thirty six a.m. Okay, so you go to work at six thirty a.m. Very yes. good. Okay, guys, he put some example. Remember that yesterday we learned three ways to say it exactly the same time, right? He says at 6.30 a.m. Uh, Edith, there is another way to say at 6.30 a.m. in English? I pay for preposition. At... No. Uh -huh. Can you say 6.30 a.m. in another way? Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Puedes decir seis y media a.m. en otra forma que no sea 6.30? Puedes decir de ah, otra half, half six. Half, half, half six. six. She's missing something, yeah. guys. What is the word that she's missing? We learned yesterday. Oh. Exactly. Past. Very good job. Half past six. Half past six. Or, Alex? Or or Alexander, hola, hola. hola, hola, hola. What is Once the other way to say it? Uh, 30 uh, minutos, no sé, minutes. Minutes, minutes. Minutes, good. Past, past six. Very good. Woohoo! Fantastic. You see, we're practicing. Very good job, guys. Congratulations. So you see? We we need we have learned a lot of things. We have learned simple present. We have learned um, verbs in base form. We have learned preposition of time and hours of time. Today we're going to have more vocabulary. Why? Because we're going to learn today how to talk about daily routines. You know what a daily routine is? Something that you do every single day all your routine since you wake up get out from your bed take a shower you see you have to take a shower right uh -huh. yeah. yes, because yeah. if not sure. hmm. yeah. yes exactly you take a shower you brush your teeth okay <clears throat> you have your breakfast you dress up you comb your hair 
you drive to your work or you take the bus, you arrive to the work, etc. That is your daily routine. Each of you have different daily routine. For example, Moran is single. His daily routine is different as a did, right? Eric, do you have kids? Yes. Two. Exactly. So you have your routine is totally different as Moran, as Gabriel, as Cody, Alexander. Javier maybe has the same routine as you, maybe. America as well. Martita and Diana, right? Each of them has a different life. Each of you do different things, different responsibilities at work. So you do different things and you have a daily routines. That's what we're going to learn today. Okay? okay. Yes, Gabriel. Daily okay, routines. <laughs> no, it's going to be really easy. Don't worry about that. Okay, let me show you right now my screen before I go so far. Because to learn about daily routines, definitely, guys, we need to learn vocabulary by heart. Okay, so let me share it right now my screen with you really quickly. All right, there you go. Okay, cool. I'm going to share it and let me know as soon as you can see it, okay? Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. There you go. You see, this is daily routines. Okay. This is not get up, guys. It is when you literally go out from your bed. Okay. But wake up is when you open your beautiful eyes in the morning. Like this, exactly. When you open your beautiful eyes, is wake up. But when you literally jump out from your bed, is get up. Okay? It's different. Yes. Then we have breakfast. Then we brush our teeth. Then we get dressed. You see, the guys try to look has a uh, handsome. And the girls try to look pretty right uh -huh. then in this case you take the school bus but we are not students anymore so we take the bus right we wish but we are not students anymore guys well right now yes right we're in english students <laughs> but you're from home very good then we start a lesson then we study for example if you paint you paint you listen to the teacher right, right. Yes. Uh huh. Hopefully yes. you do. Uh -huh. Then you make the bed. So in this case, uh, since you were a housewife, Diana, Claudia, Edith, Edith, uh, and and Nadia, we iron the clothes, right? We need to prepare for our cloth and our family cloth. Then if we have a pet. We walk the dog. We do the washing, we set the table, we prepare the table for the dinner, for example. We cook our meal, we have a lunch, we drink tea, we do our homework, right? <laughs> Hopefully you do. <laughs> Sometimes we watch TV just to relax. We listen to music. I think Fernando loves music, right? So you listen yeah. to music, very good. Yeah. Okay. Then you train football like Moran. He wants, he loves to play football. Who loves to play video games? No. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't have time to play video games. My last yeah. video game that I played was Sega. That was back in 1994, I think. Can yes. you imagine? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Yes. Definitely. After that, we read a book, maybe. There's some of us that loves to read, so you take time to read a book. You have a shower. Yes. You get fresh, right? And finally, you go to sleep. Okay, guys, this is some of vocabulary. Maybe you have the same routine, maybe not. But we're going to learn right now the pronunciation, and then we're going to continue learning how to say that because I want you guys to tell me your daily routine, okay? Okay, so pay attention, guys. Yes, go ahead. Who has a question? 
Gabriel. Um, yes. I knew um, it. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> yes, in the picture, say, have a shower. Mm -hmm. But I can say, take a shower. Yes, fantastic. Not a problem. Mm, it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Good. Very good. Have as the net. It take as tomorrow. So either or is fine. Okay. Cool. Repeat after me. Get up. Get, get up. up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, guys. Get up because I'm talking about me. But if I'm talking about her, ¿cómo sería? Get up. Get up. Get up. Very good job, it. Get, get up. up. Get exactly. Up. Remember that we need to add the S, right? To convert the verb the into third a third person. person. Very good job. Number two, have breakfast. Have, have breakfast. breakfast. Break fast. Break fast. Very good. If it's, if I'm talking about third person, what would be? What is the verb here? Has. 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 Very good. Has. has breakfast. Fantastic. Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush my, my, teeth. my teeth. 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 I want to see everybody to take out your tongue to pronounce teeth. 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 Exactly. You got to do that to, to, in order to pronounce correctly. Don't care if you, if you look like goofy. Don't worry about that. That's the way you learn it. Okay. Brush my teeth. Brush my, my teeth. teeth. Very good. Get dressed. Get, get dressed. dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Dress. Vestir me. Okay? Get dressed. Get dressed. Take the school bus. Take, Take the school bus. bus. Si fueras estudiante, pero si eres eh, persona adulta como nosotros, es take the bus. Tomas el autobús. Right? Okay. Take the bus. Start lessons. Start, Start lessons. lessons. Study. 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 No study. 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 Exactly. Very good job. Paint. 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 Dibujar. No, pintar, no? Listen to the teacher. Listen, Listen to the teacher. To the teacher. The teacher. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh-huh. You bet. You bet. Every day. <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> I doubt it. Now that's okay. Always. <laughs> Always. Great. Use of prepositions, right? In average of frequency and time. Very good. Make the bed. Make, Make the, the bed. bed. The bed. la cama. Right? Make the bed. Espero que ustedes right. make the bed. No, I think I don't need the wakachia at home, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's in case. That's in case. All righty. Do the ironing. Do the ironing. 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 Significa hacer el planchado. ¿Sí? Planchar. Okay. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Walk. Walk the dog. Walk, 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 walk the dog. No walk. 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 The dog. The dog. Very good job. Walk. Significa sacar a pasear al perrito. Do the washing. Do the washing. 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 En otras palabras, lavar la ropa. Set the table. Set the table. Poner la mesa. Set the table. Right. Cook meals. Cook meals. Cook meals. Se significa preparar o cocinar las comidas. Okay, guys. Meals is comidas. Could be breakfast, could be lunch, or could be dinner. See? Okay. Very good. Okay. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. lunch. Almorzar. Drink tea. Drink, drink, tea. Tea. drink tea. Tomar el té. Así como los británicos. Pero como los latinos y los salvadoreños no tomamos mucho té, sino que tomamos sí, café, no, café, sería drink coffee. 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 Yes. Drink, As drink always, coffee. right? Coffee. Around 3 or 4 p.m., right, guys? Uh-huh. Right. All right. Do homework. Do, do homework. homework. As you always do, right, guys? 
Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. you're bad. Okay. You're bad. <laughs> Watch TV. Watch TV. 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 Listen to music. Listen to music. The music. The music. Very good. Try football. Try, Try football. football. Listen to music. Mm -hmm. Train. Play computer games. Play computer, Play computer games. games. Play computer games. Read a book. Read, Read a, a book. book. Have a shower. Have, Have a, a shower. shower. Or, como dijo Gabriel, take a shower. Take a shower. That is valid. And finally, guys, go to sleep. Go to go sleep. To sleep. Okay, okay. Uh, right now, I'm not going to help you. Now it's going to be your turn to practice a pronunciation. Okay? Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm, I don't hear you. Are you guys ready? Yes. That's what I hear. Energy. Very good. Okay, let's start. Number one. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Continue. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Very good. Continue. Brush my, Brush my, my teeth. teeth. My teeth. My teeth. Very good. Continue. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Mm -hmm. Continue. Take the school, the school bus. bus. Very good. Continue. Start, Start lesson. 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 Mm -hmm. lesson. Continue. Study. 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 Paint. Very good. Listen to the teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good. Make, Make the bed. The bed. Go ahead. To the iron. Walk Walk or walk? Walk. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Walk the dog. Very good. Continue. Do the washing. Do the washing. washing. Very the good. Washing. Continue. Set the table. The table. Mm -hmm. Continue. Cook meals. Okay. Lunch. Very good. Continue. Drink, drink tea. Coffee. coffee. Drink coffee. coffee. <laughs> I drink knew coffee. it. All right. Go ahead. Do homework. Homework. Mm -hmm. homework. Mm -hmm. homework. Watch TV. Watch TV. TV. Okay. TV. Listen, Listen to music. music. Mm -hmm. Try to oh. Excellent job. Play computer, computer games. games. Mm -hmm. Continue. Read the book. Very good. Have, Have a, a shower. shower. Or take a shower. Or take a shower. shower. Very good. Shower. And finally, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Excellent go. job. You see? There you go. Now let's continue practicing. And let me give you an example. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Okay. This we have a daily routine for a guy, but it is in disorder, as you can see. I want you guys to pay attention on the images, and I, I'm going to give you one minute to put the letters in orders, okay? You can grab a piece of paper and a pen and put it in order. Are you guys ready? Mm. And then they're on? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, America, Edith, Claudia, Martita. Yes. Yeah? Moran? Okay. Yes, it's okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, I, time I, is I, counting. I haven't. You haven't what? I haven't. You don't have a paper? Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, and, and, and also, guys, do me a favor. You need to write it down what they are doing. For example, let me give you letter A. Just letter A. Wake up. Wake up. Wake exactly. Up. Mm -hmm. Gracias.
Okay, time is over. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay, what's the first one in the first place? What's the first one? Wake up. Wake up. What about letter B, Fernando? Um, wake up. In the wake, <laughs> wake up is despertarse. ¿Cómo se dice oh, salir de la cama? Letter B. ¿Cómo se dice salir de la cama? Get up. Get up. Very good job. Pero ¿cómo es tercera persona? Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Very Gets good. Up. Exactly. What about letter C? What is he doing? Take a shower. Take a shower. Have a shower. Take a, oh, take a shower. Have a shower. Very good. What about letter D? Brush. 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 Brushing. Brush. Brush. Brushing. Brushing teeth. What about E? Take a breakfast. Get dressed. Get dressed. Very good. What about letter F? Have a breakfast. Have a breakfast. Take a breakfast. What about letter G? Go to work. Go to work. Okay. Oh, drive to work. So ustedes se fijan, se va a tomar el carro, right? So it's drive to work. Very good. What about letter H? Drink coffee. Drink coffee. O T, right? What about letter H? Watch TV. Watch TV. Mm -hmm. And finally, letter J. Go to, sleep. Go to, sleep. Go to bed. Sleep. Exactly. Very good job. Okay, guys. Can we, because this, this guys, if you can see the images, we have two people. Two people's daily routines. But the images are in disorder, right? Yes. So we, not, we need to put an order. For example, the guy that has a blonde hair, that means que casi no tiene cabello, he's bold. ¿Cuál es, ¿Qué es lo primero que hace él? What would be Take the first shower. thing? Take a shower. Then? Shower. Brushing the teeth. Brush the teeth. Okay, so take a shower will be number one, right? Letter D will be number two. What about number three? Brush. Get dressed. Brush. Get dressed, Brushes. exactly. Get dressed. Number four? Have, Have, a break. Break. Have a breakfast. Very good. And number five? Try to work. Try to work. Very good. Okay, let's focus on the other daily routine. What about this one? What would be the first one? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Letter A, exactly. Number two? Get up. Get, Get, up. Up. Get up. Very good. Number three? Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Okay, number four. Watch, watch TV. And finally, go to the bed. Go to bed. Very good job. Okay, nice. Let me show you right now an example of a daily routine of a girl. All right, let's put in practice right now the pronunciation. And it will give you an idea as well how you can do your daily routine. You see, this is Leslie. Leslie is a teacher. Okay, so let's double check what Leslie do every single day. Who can I start helping me reading? Diana, can you do me a favor and read the first paragraph for me? Yes. Go ahead. Leslie Days. Leslie is an ESOL teacher and had his college in London. Very good. On weekend, weekdays. On weekdays. Always, weekdays. Mm -hmm. She always get, gets up at about seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. She has a shower and then she has a, she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. Mm -hmm. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle and mm. and a turn at one of, uh, at eight thirty mm -hmm. and she start work at nine o'clock. 
Very good job. So you see, guys, in the first paragraph, we have put in practice everything that we have seen so far. Verb to be, simple present, preposition of time, adverbs of time, and now daily routine. You see? Very good job. Very good job. We're going to focus later on the pronunciation, but that's okay. Very good job, Yanita. Uh, what about you, um, Dr. Americo? Can you continue reading, please? At about. At about 1.30, she usually has mm -hmm. lunch. Very good. She has a sandwich and some fruit. Mm -hmm. In her office, she finishes finishes work at five o'clock mm -hmm. and picks and picks up her daughter from her after school. Clue: She usually has usually? dinner at about usually has dinner at about seven o'clock. And then she has a cup of coffee. Very good. Stop there. Continue, Edith. Okay. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She, le she likes listening to music. Mm -hmm. She usually goes to bed at, at about uh, 11 30. Then she, read, she, she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at mm, midnight. Very good job. Congratulations. Okay, guys. Any questions so far? Any word that you don't know what does it mean? Mm. Mm -hmm. I know you do. What, what ah, do you mean okay. in Spanish word picks? Picks. Oh, don't, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, picks picks up. up. Okay, that mm -hmm. is uh, what, we, what we call in English, that is a two-word verb. It's a phrasal verb. That means that it's a word that is composed of two words and created something different, something, some meaning different. But in this case, picks up is recoger. Recoger es de ir, de ir a traer a la escuela. ¿Ya? Ahí dice, por ejemplo, picks up her daughter, va a recoger a su hija from her, uh, from her after school club. Va a recoger a su hija uh, después del club de tareas de la escuela. ¿Right? Picks up es ir a traer. I say pick, picks up garbage. Where is it? Yes. Puedo decir, eh, recoger la basura. Con pick ups. Mm, no, porque es más que todo ir a traer a alguien físicamente a algún lugar. Mm, okay. ¿Sí? Por, por okay. ejemplo, si tú quieres, you, si tú quieres agarrar a alguien, you have to take up o take up o take in. Usas otro o get it o get. ¿Sí? Es okay. otro verbo que utilices. Very good okay. job. Any other questions? No. No. Oh, okay. Very good. All right, guys. So, you see, this is really nice. This is her daily routine. Let me show you some example. Another example that will be a little bit uh, easy. Let me check it out. There you go. I need to show you something different right now. Let me know if you can see what I'm having, okay, or what I see. Just let me know. Let me check. I think this is not showing what I need. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. Oh, there you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes? Are you yeah. sure? Okay, allow yeah. me one moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have seen so far a uh, daily routine for a regular guy, but no daily routine for, very good, for an adult. Okay. In this case, we are an adult, so I just want you to double check for me. This is really easy, you see? Can you please read for me the first part, um, Fernando, the first line, please? Yeah, teacher. On weekend day, I get up 6 o'clock. 
Ok, on weekdays, I get up at 6 o'clock. That means los días de semana, remember? Que con on estamos usándolo para days, ¿se acuerdan? Yes. Ok, on weekdays, yes. weekdays I get up at 6 o'clock. Los días de semana, me levanto a las 6 de la mañana. Ok, eh, eh, ¿podrías decirme a qué horas te levantas, Javier? ¿A qué hora te levantas? I wake up at uh, 4.30. Ok. And at what time you get up? I get up for 30 a.m. Ok. Te levantas a las 4 y 30 de la mañana. Yes. Every okay. day. Ok. Every day. Very good. Continue reading, Moran. Go ahead. Yeah. I go to the bathroom, have a shower, then I feel a bit fresher. Mm -hmm. I brush my teeth, comb my hair, and get dressed. Very good. Si ustedes se fijan, Pueden enumerar todas las acciones que ustedes hacen. En vez de decir, I go to the bathroom, I have a shower, I brush my teeth, etc. Ustedes pueden ir enumerando las actividades por comas. Por ejemplo, lo que acaba de leer Modan. I go to the bathroom, voy al baño, tomo una ducha, me siento fresco, lavo mis dientes, me peino y me visto. Eso es lo que acaba de decir Modan. ¡Pum! De un solo. You see? Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, number uh, number three. Um, Dianita, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Yes. I don't have breakfast at home. Mm -hmm. I have breakfast and then I eat a sandwich and drink a cup of coffee or tea. What's what? I know. That's that's. that's why I can concentrate better at work. Very good job. Very good job. No tengo desayuno en casa. Tengo desayuno, pero significa que lo tienen en el trabajo. Me como un sándwich, tomo una taza de café o té, y ahí sí puedo estar más concentrado para, mejor, para trabajar mejor. That's what she said. Very good. Javier, go ahead. Continue, please. Okay. At about seven o'clock, I, uh, I go to the work. Uh-huh. Uh, I can see, teacher. You cannot see? I don't know what happened to that. But anyway, eh, okay. I'm playing. Huh. What happened? Okay, where you go? Okay. Cool. Uh, At about seven o'clock? I can read the last words. Which one? This one? Uh, but, uh, by car, by, I don't... By bus. By bus. Okay. Exactly. Why? Okay. Because, guys, not all of us has car, right? Huh? Some of us has a motorcycle. Some of us, we need to take the bus. And some of us, we need to walk. Walk. Yeah. Walk to work. So that's why it says at about oh. a, uh, 7 o'clock, I go to work on foot. Es decir... Literalmente a pata en buen salvadoreño, right? By car, si tenemos un carrito. By bus, si tomamos el autobús. And by motorcycle, si tenemos motocicleta. Okay? okay. Very good. Continue reading, Gabriel. Go ahead, please. Okay. I work from half past 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Exactly. Very good. Yo trabajo desde las siete y media de la mañana hasta las cinco de la tarde. A simple mm -hmm. as that. Very good. Continue, Gabriel. I have lunch at about noon. Miren acá. Esto es algo bien interesante. Tengo el almuerzo at about noon. No significa about que yo tenga el almuerzo a las doce. No. Significa que alrededor de las doce. You see? Mm -hmm. Could be eleven thirty. Could be twelve. Could be twelve and something. See? Yeah, depends on that. Continue reading, please, Gabriel. Go ahead. Okay. After work, I do the shopping, pick up my children from school, and we go home. Mm -hmm. Después del trabajo, hago los comprados, recojo a los chicos en la escuela, y después nos vamos a casa. We go home. Continue reading okay. for me. Go ahead. At home, I cook something for dinner or make some sandwiches. Very good job. En la casa, cocino algo para la cena o hago algunos desayunos. Very good job. Uh, now, I want Claudita. Could you please continue reading for me? Uh, at about half 
half. Past half. six weeks. Half? Mm -hmm. At about half past six, we have dinner. Mm -hmm. We usually eat sometime warm, cold food. Exactly. Significa que a las seis y media, about half past six, recuerden? Seis y media, we have dinner, tenemos la cena. We usually, usualmente, comemos algo calientito o algo helado. Yeah? Very good job. Continue, Alex, please. After dinner, I wash up and tidy, tidy up, up the float. Tidy up the float. Tidy up the float. Mm -hmm. Significa que después de la comida, lavo y seco, seco. la vajilla o todos los platos. Yeah? Very good job. Yes, I knew it. Tidy up or tidy up? Tied up. Tied, Tied up. up. Sí. Vamos, a, vamos a ir pronunciando porque como es un two-word verb, como les decía a ustedes, tied es una cosa y up es otra cosa. Pero cuando los unimos, forman un significado diferente de lo que significan las dos frases al mismo tiempo. Eso se llama en inglés, ya más adelante lo vamos a ver, two-word verb. ¿Sí? Entonces, en este caso se pronuncian together. Están two-word verb y three-word verb. En este caso estamos viendo Two word verbs. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. No me voy a detener mucho en esto, pero sí lo vamos a detener en la pronunciation. Por ejemplo, se dice wash up. Tied up. O tidy up. Fíjense que no se pronuncia tanto. Es, es tidied up. Pero cuando usted lo dice seguro, eh, seguido, no se usa el, el, el tidy, sino que se usa tidied up. ¿Sí? No se preocupen, conmigo vamos a pronunciar bien para que se escuchen más nativos, ¿les parece? Great. Dicen, yeah, I tied it up, you know. Uh -huh. Very good job. All righty, and finally, Edith, can you please read for me the last paragraph? Uh, then I play with my children mm -hmm. or watch TV or read a book. Okay. A uh, ma magazine. Magazine, yeah. Magazine, uh, new newspapers. Okay. I sell them to the net. Next. Exactly. Sir the net. Very good. What is seldom, guys? Do you remember? Um, rarely. Rarely. Surf the net. Surf no crea que es surfear. Aquí navegar está diciendo que raramente navega sobre la red. That means internet. Uh, Ok. Usualmente net, la palabra net, puede ser red. Y puede ser red de cualquier cosa. Red para basketball, basketball net. Fishing net, red de pescar. Volleyball net. Sí, red de voleibol, etc. Pero en este caso net se está refiriendo a navegar por internet. Ok. School. Ok, guys, repeat after me. Shower. 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 Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush my, my teeth. teeth. Comb my hair. Comb my, my hair. hair. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. breakfast. Drink a cup of. Drink, Drink a cup of. of. Drink a cup of Drink. coffee. Drink a cup of coffee. Drink a cup of coffee. Very good. Drink a cup of coffee. Drink a cup of coffee. Drink a cup of coffee. Very good. Concentrate. 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 Half past seven. Half past seven. At about. At about, about, at about noon. At about, at about, at about, about noon. noon. Very good. Okay. Uh, pick up. Pick, pick up. up. No, pick it up. No, pick up. Pick, pick up. up. What happened? Oh, oh reload. <laughs> I know. Every time that I want to show you something different and cool, I don't know what happened. Okay, I know that. Don't worry, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Ta -da -da. <laughs> you see? Very good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. 
I I cook something. I cook, I cook something. 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 At about half past six. At about half past six. Uh-huh. There you go. Um wash up. Wash up. Wash up. 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 Tidy it up. Tidy it up. I don't hear you, Mr. Moran. Tidy it up. Tidy it up. Tidy it up. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Seldom. 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 All right. Um have a bath. Have a bath. Have a bath. I fall asleep at 10 p.m. I fall asleep at 10 p.m. Very good. You see? There you go. So you see? Asleep. That is going to be your homework, Mr. Murrow. What does it mean? Asleep in the Spanish, please? Uh-uh. That is your homework. Asleep? Asleep. Uh-huh. The letter A. Yes, I know. That means something. Sleep. That's, that's going to be your homework. Okay. Because tomorrow you're going to be uh, your morrow. Come on, teacher. We do not have classes <laughs> on Friday. Uh, yeah, we do have classes only on from Monday to Thursday, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, so that means that it's going to be your homework for Monday. Okay. And you better have the answer for me, okay? If not, you will get in trouble. <laughs> now, yeah. no, just to see you. Okay, guys, right now I want you to focus on something, but tell me, I'm going to show, put you some um, yes, listening sir. exercise. Go ahead, sir. Sorry. Um, no. I, I can say. Can I say? Brush, brush my hair. Of course. Oh, okay. Of course you can do it. And you the, can say it. And the part of it is mm -hmm. different, right? Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you can do it. You can brush your hair. You can brush your teeth. Exactly. Okay, guys. Do me a favor. I'm going to put uh, like a listening exercise. And I want you to focus on that because I want you to give me the answers. Okay? It's going to be a conversation between basically three people they are going to talk about their daily routines. And I want you to listen carefully because we're going to ask some questions after that. Okay? Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Yeah. Are you guys ready? ready That's what I need. Ready. Energy with me. Come on. All righty. There you go. And to be honest with you, this is a one to war. Ha, I hate it. And I love that. I don't know why it doesn't want to work, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have it here. Do, 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 do. This is the one that I need. It's good. Yes, Alex. I'm going to I'm going to buy a new uh, laptop. I promise. Okay. No. I promise. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry about it. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and can you hear it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Talk about yes. their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So. What are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. 
But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay? Is that okay or you want me to put it one more time? Yeah, one more time, time, please. One more time, please. One, I knew two it. And now, you know what? From now on, I'm going to be a really nyaka nyaka teacher, a tough teacher. <laughs> Why? Because you need to like start developing your listening skill. Today, guys, we're putting in practice a lot of things. We're going to put in practice speaking skill, reading skill, and listening skill. Why? Because when you're going to do your TOEFL or your TOEIC, you will have time. And they're going to put the listening part only one time. If you get it, good. If you're not, I'm sorry. That's what it is. So for now on, we need to like start like developing more our listening skills. So I'm going to, I'm going to be nice teacher. And I'm going to put it two times. Okay. 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 That from next week and on, it's going to be one time. Okay. And I'm going okay. to be really mad and really bad one, a bad girl. Because if you're listening and if you got it, good. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that you're going to love me. <laughs> All right, let's put it again. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well... My job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay? Okay, so let's answer. Okay? All right, guys. What is Rodney? What is Rodney's job? He's a chef. Yeah, yeah. chef. Okay, at what time he gets up? Sometime in the evening and sometime in the afternoon. No, but at what time he gets up? At what time? Okay, it's uh, around 9 a.m. Okay. Nine. Uh, what about at what time he gets home at? 10 p.m. Okay. He goes to bed at? 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Very good job. What about Tina? What is Tina? Tina is, is manager. Management. All right. Very good. At what time she gets up? She gets up around 6 a.m. Okay, what about what time she gets home at? Mm -hmm. Do you need that? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Oh, are you guys agree with Mr. Gabriel? It's a mm -hmm. four. Okay, what about what time she goes to bed? Nine. She goes to bed at 10 p.m. No, 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 no. Mid midnight. At midnight? midnight. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, very midnight. good job. What about Helen? What is Helen? What is her job? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. That means? Aeromosa. Aeromosa. Hermosa, yes. And Aeromosa, exactly. Azafata. Very good job. Okay. She gets up before what? Before 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Very good. At what time she gets home at? After 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. 
And she goes to bed at? No, don't listen to the dog. The dog give you, gave you a wrong answer. <laughs> that is Claudie's. I think that is Claudia's baby dog, right? No, I don't know. Okay. She goes <laughs> to bed at? A que hora se va a la cama, Helen? Helen, 10 p.m. Okay. Okay, you see? I know, you're not going to remember a lot of things, but that's why we practice listening. Okay? Yes. If you continue listening and listening, you will get used to it. Okay, guys. Um, let's do something else. Let's play some games, okay? Ah, yes, that's what I love the teacher. Yes, I know. Okay, let's play some games. We're going to talk about daily routine and uh, let's play something. Okay. Uh, 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 um. Now, this one, now. I'm going to put something different. Daily routine. This is your exercise. Yay, this one is going to be this one. <laughs> All righty, let me click and learn the, this one. Okay, guys, it's going to be easy. It will be quickly, okay? So you have to have good memory, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me show you the words, and then you will have two seconds to memorize that. And then I'm going to ask you, each of you, and you need to let me know the action, okay? Okay. Okay. Let me show you the words. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Memorize. I will give you three seconds. That would be nice. Okay. Time is over. Oh, oh uh, you're bad. Yeah, <laughs> I am. So what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Once again. <laughs> Okay, you got it? Cloudy, Javi, yeah, I did. Martita, okay, you okay. better go ahead. Okay, okay, Gabriel, what's the first one? Um, brush your hair. take a shower, brush. Your hair. Brush your eyes. Brush, no, brush your hair. Brush my brush eyes. Brush your hair. 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 You see? Brush, brush your hair. His hair. Brush his hair. Okay. What about the second one, Alex? Alex. Brush uh, his teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Excellent job. What about the next one, Diana? Do the homework. Do homework. Hey, very good job. Mr. Fernando, woohoo. What is she doing right now? Brush your hair. Dry your hair. Dry. Dry the hair. Dry your hair. Dry your hair. Yeah. Dry your hair. Very good job. What about this one, Martita? El que tiene dos pancitos volando. I don't remember. Eat breakfast. What is it? Make the breakfast. Eat breakfast. Very good. Mr. Moran. Hey, this one looks like, like uh, Charlie, right? <laughs> what yes. about this one? What about this one, Mr. Moran? Take a lunch. Could be or have lunch. Eat dinner. No, eat dinner. But what's close? What's close? Yes. Okay. What about this one? This one looks like Ernesto. Go ahead. Uh, Javier. How a lunch. Eat lunch. Yay, very good. Or eat lunch. That's great. Okay, Claudie, what about this one? Oh. No. Guys, what about this one? Uh, get dressed. Get, get dressed. dressed. Very good. Get dressed. What about this one? Edit. Go to work. Go home. <laughs> go home. No. <clears throat> what about go this one? Uh, go home. What about this one? <laughs> go to the bathroom. Exactly. <laughs> go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Exactly. What about this one, guys? Go to sleep. 
Exactly. I think that's what Mr. Gabriel is going to do after the class. Go to bed. What about this one? Take a bus. Go to school. Mm -hmm. Go to school. Take the bus. Go to school. Take the bus. What about this one? Make the bed. Make your bed. Very good. What about this mm -hmm. one? And there's some of you that doesn't want to do that. Study. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good job. What about this one? Take a bath. 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 All right. Hay una diferencia. Take a shower es cuando tú estás debajo de una regadera, right? But take a bath es cuando tú estás adentro de una tina, como tomar un baño, rapidito. Take a bath. Sí. Take a shower puede ser algo así como de un solo, solo una ducha y ya. Pero take a bath es cuando tú te tomas mucho tiempo, por ejemplo, que le pones burbujitas, que le pones unas sales por ahí de lavanda, que le pones agüita caliente. <laughs> And you're like, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's, yeah, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gabriel, I think you're using your imagination, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I <laughs> Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Wake up. And this one? Okay. Your face. Washing his face. Exactly. Very Wash good job, face. guys. You see, we have learned a lot of jobs today, a lot of pro uh, pronunciation, a lot of new word for you, basically. So this is going to going to be your homework today, okay? Moran will have two homeworks, but the rest of you will have just one homework. What is going to be the homework? Yes, I want you guys to write for me a little paragraph, maybe like no longer than 10 lines, no longer than that. And I want you guys to do me a favor, explain your daily routine. Okay? Okay. Use preposition of okay. adverbs. Your, uh, your preposition of time, sorry, is adverbs of time. Use the words that we have learned today. And that's what we're going to do when we come back on Monday. Okay? Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Any question that you might have regarding something that you want to say, but you don't know how to say it, etc. Write on the WhatsApp group. I'll be more than glad to help you. Okay. 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 Thank you. If there's anything else that I that you want me to help you right now, any doubts that you have for today's class? No. 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 That's why I love you. I know that you're a really smart guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I know that you love me. I love you too. But it's time to say goodbye. Okay. So hugs, kisses. Go to sleep. Take care. Be obedient. Stay home. If you don't have to leave from your house, don't. Because I want that everybody's safe and healthy. Okay? Thanks. And hopefully, guys, I can see you next class. Okay? Okay. See you. Have a lovely Good night. night. Good night and great weekend, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Bye-bye.